Hi there luxury watch lovers. In this channel I cover the background, fundamental design features and things to consider before buying your watch. If you have a luxury watch that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. In today's video, we're going to cover the Tissot Seastar 2000 Professional Powermatic 80. One of the most striking features of this watch is its sapphire crystal. Because of its transparency, a sapphire crystal provides a watch with extremely high impact resistance as well as superior screen and hand readability. It is used in fine timepieces for its anti-scratch properties because it is the strongest material after diamonds. Sapphire crystals come in a variety of shapes and sizes, giving the watch a unique appearance – flat, domed, concave or ground. The case is made of 316L stainless steel, which protects it from corrosion and benefits a true diver. Tissot registered the name Sea Star on December 13, 1952, while Rolex introduced the Submariner, which is water resistant to 300 meters, and Tudor and Blanc Pair burst onto the scene with unique watches and oversized diving bezels. Tissot watches remain simple and elegant. They have a slight resemblance to the first Omega Seamaster models, which were incredibly chic, to the point where you would probably have become hysterical if they came into contact with water, though this would be completely unwarranted. Tissot's 1954 catalog featured the first appearance of the Sea Star collection. The creation was airtight, thanks to a double case back with additional moisture and dust protection. Only in the 1970s, with Tissot's T12, 12 Atmosphere did a more sporty approach emerge. The model was perfectly round, had an inner diving ring, and was water resistant to 120 meters. Tissot first introduced a sports model with a diving bezel in 1972 with the sideral S reference 44730. The Sea Star underwent a turbulent transformation into a tool watch at the beginning of the 21st century. The Sea Star 660 debuted in 2003 with a water resistance rating of 200 meters and a recognizable rotatable bezel. With the introduction of the Diver Sea Star models in 2011, the line was relaunched with a new design. The forward-thinking watchmaker then took things a step further by increasing the permeability of its Sea Star models. The Sea Star 1000 Professional debuted in 2018 with a water resistance rating of 300 meters. It laid the groundwork for the Sea Star 2000 Professional, which was released in the spring of 2021. The new piece is a professional tool watch which bears no resemblance to the 1960s Seastar. Tissot had a solid reputation for producing well-made watches that are fully equipped while remaining reasonably priced. As part of the Swatch Group and as the entry-level brand into the world of mechanical watches, Tissot has long benefited from the group's synergies and can offer some advanced technologies at affordable prices. When it comes to diving watches, the brand already has the Sea Star collection, which includes the 1000 model, referring to its 1000 foot water resistance. Tissot is now releasing an ultra rugged and instrument focused version, the Sea Star 2000 Professional, which adds more water resistance, shock protection, anti magnetism, and even complies with ISO standards for dive watches while remaining reasonably priced. So what are the most important design features? Amongst the variety of references with straps and bracelets that you get to choose from, the stainless steel casing has a diameter of 46 mm and a height of 16.25 mm. Powering the movement of this watch is the Powermatic 80 automatic caliber and as you can tell from the name, it allows for 80 hours of power reserve. It has a brushed and polished unidirectional bezel in notch steel with black polished ceramic inserts and an engraved 60 minute scale. This watch has a domed sapphire crystal with an anti-reflection coating on the inside. On the back, there is a screwed case back with sapphire crystal. On the sides, you have a screw down crown with guards. It is also equipped with a helium escape valve. And let's not forget the date, the calendar date display is nicely positioned at 6 o'clock. With a water resistance of up to 600 meters, you can certainly see why it's suitable for divers. 
So what does this exquisite piece cost? Well, you can expect to pay about $1,025. Here are things to consider before buying the Sea Star 2000 Professional. Starting with number one, Tissot's water-resistant and anti-magnetic watches. When it comes to dive watches and the race to create water-resistant pieces, the names Rolex, Tudor, and Panerai come to mind. Rolex had developed its oyster case and thus its first water-resistant watch by the 1930s. However, Tissot, a Le Loc-based horology house founded in 1853, was already experimenting with water-resistant watches in the same decade. Tissot's 1938 camping watch was water and dust resistant, as well as anti-magnetic, thanks to a special screw system. And this latter feature distinguished Tissot as a true pioneer. Tissot invented the world's first anti-magnetic wristwatch, as electricity gained traction in the 1920s, suddenly affecting the accuracy of watches. Tissot's line of water-resistant watches was expanded with the Aquasport in 1939, and that model was advertised as water-resistant, precise, shock-resistant, and anti-magnetic. Moving on to number two, the case. The Seastar 2000 Professionals case is made up of 316L stainless steel and features satin brush flanks and polished flat surfaces. The case is angular, giving it a modern feel. Aside from the design, what stands out the most is the quality of the assembly and the watch's functionality. And as the name implies, the watch is water resistant to 2,000 feet. This is accomplished through the use of a thick beveled and domed sapphire crystal, a screw down crown, and a screwed case back with a see-through sapphire crystal. At 9 o'clock, the case incorporates a helium valve. During a longer dive deeper than 100 meters, this becomes a must-have feature. The valve allows excess pressure within the watch's case to escape, and this prevents the sapphire crystal from shattering. Ticking away with number three, the dial. The dial, which features a wave motif, is of the same high quality as the case and bezel. It changes from deep dark blue to light turquoise blue. Tissot improved the look of its Seastar 2000 in comparison to the classic models already in the collection, with a redesigned dial and more appealing colors. The base has a new and appealing wave pattern engraved on its surface, and the watch comes in three colors, deep blue, turquoise, and black all with a gradient effect in which the color darkens towards the dial's edges. Large applied and rhodium plated markers with the classic combination of triangles, rectangles, and dots are positioned all around to read the time quickly, even in the dark. The oversized hands, including the second hand with T counterweight, are mostly filled with white super luminova, which emits blue light in the dark. The rest of the watch is modern, technical, and purpose-built, but it also has a certain coolness to it. Even the date at 6 o'clock is displayed in a small metal window and is highlighted in black. Because the Seastar 2000 is a professional tool watch, some may be perplexed by the date function. However, because this is a watch for everyday use, the date display is advantageous. The click of the unidirectional rotating bezel is nice and clean, but it seems it's a little too easy to adjust and could use a little more resistance. Let's move on to number four, the Powermatic 80 movement. The latest generation Powermatic 80 caliber is a gleamingly clean movement with a generous power reserve. It can run for more than 80 hours without needing to be recharged, as the name implies. The designer's wise decision to expose the movement, complete with engraved oscillating weight, through the sapphire crystal back deserves some credit. Tissot first used the movement in its luxury collection in 2013, making it the first Swatch Group brand to do so. It has been steadily evolving since then, and it is based on the dependable ETA 2824 automatic caliber, which has been around for a few decades. However, this affects the second hand, which no longer moves as smoothly across the dial because the hand now moves at a rate of six steps per second rather than eight. 
While most watches in this price range have classic automatic movements, this Tissot adds two significant improvements to its ETA base. First, thanks to a reduced frequency of 3 Hz and a reworked kinetic chain, the power reserve has been increased to now offer 80 hours of energy when fully wound. Secondly, it has a Nivacron balance spring, a material invented by Nivarox. This is made of a titanium-based alloy and is completely anti-magnetic, which does help with oscillation. The caliber is only available for Swatch Group watches, whereas the ETA2824 can be used by other brands. Despite the relatively standard finishing of the movement, the option for a sapphire crystal will please newcomers to mechanical watchmaking. Creating a splash with number 5, a compellingly good diver's watch. The watch is quite large and heavy. The steel case, on the other hand, must be able to withstand pressure at a depth of 600 meters. It comes with either a rubber strap or a stainless steel bracelet with a safety folding clasp, which the wearer can easily replace thanks to the quick change system. Because the wrist reacts differently at different temperatures, it is always advantageous if the strap can easily be fine-tuned. The strap on the Seastar 2000 can be adjusted in three small steps using a small tool. The bottom line is that you get a super sporty and everyday tool watch with a decent movement for an unbelievably low price with the Seastar 2000 Professional. So your vintage Seastar may soon have to adjust to having a younger mechanical brother. And completing our list at number 6, the bezel. This new professional Tissot dive watch features a stainless steel unidirectional bezel with deep notches that allow for an easy grip when wearing gloves or with wet hands. As mentioned, it also has a black polished ceramic insert with an engraved 60 minute scale, metallic coated markers and a luminous pearl at the 12 o'clock position. Overall, the Tissot Seastar 2000 Professional is an impressive watch for the price and it even meets the strict ISO 6425 standards for dive watches. And this wraps up my review of the Seastar 2000 Professional. Thank you for sticking it out right to the very end of this video. Nothing helps my channel more. If you enjoy this type of content, let me know in the comments below what other watches you think deserve their own video. And remember, time is your greatest asset.